imagine that. Eight thousand. Am I holding it right? Aiden, I have a fresh list of book locations for you. Was that Alice's Adventures in Wonderland you brought back? Do you consider the library your Wonderland now? I don't know about that, but it's a definite change of pace. I bet. I would imagine, like Alice's journeys, yours are disorienting. And you're probably surrounded by no small amount of madness. You seem immune to such afflictions. Seem, I say. But... But are you really, Aiden? Do you ever get close to losing it? Of course. I mean, we all have our moments, right? I know I do. Sometimes it's all I can do not to fling myself off the nearest balcony. I do that all the time. It's... it's kind of my job. But yeah, I get down sometimes. Then I just get over it. Well, I, I let myself feel bad, but I can't afford to wallow either. Stifling your feelings can be dangerous too, Aiden. Yeah, maybe. But that's just how I'm wired. And I'm off. I'll see you next time. <laughs> I'll be counting the hours. Yeah. <laughs> 
can't be trusted. You showed your true colors with that BNC power mission. I know you don't like it, but I got to But I intend to pick it up again. It's all real. You have such well kept. I'm innocent. Go out. them it's incredible Let, let's see no one wrote adventure like jules verne around the world in 80 days journey to the center of the earth and of course 20,000 leagues under the sea did you know that in the nautilus he predicted many features of modern submarines <laughs> a man ahead of his time you'll be interested to know that in plato's republic socrates argues in defense of the connection between a just life and a happy life. Ah, if only such a sentiment could break through the cracks of our society and flower once more. You know, Aiden, I truly believe you deserve to be immortalized for your efforts to preserve the precious resource of human literature. I truly do, as probably does Thalia. Go ask her. If it isn't my intellectual sparring partner, I see you brought Albert a copy of Plato's Republic. Petty stuff. I haven't read it, but Albert was sure excited. If it has pages, Albert's excited. But here's a question. If you had to make a choice, would you choose to be just or to be happy? I choose both. Who said we had to choose in the first place? But that's the point of the exercise, to make a choice. You're not playing fair. That's not very just. Albert's shelves are nearly full. I suppose you'll stop visiting soon. We'll just have to see about that. Well, at least there's one more location to check. Listen to my old lady anymore. Yeah. Yeah.
Running the streets at night? Damn, it's hard enough on the rooftops. For Christ's sake, get out of my face!
leaving, man. I see something. What's going on here? This area didn't used to be dangerous. Here you are. This will make Albert happy. You. Give us that book. What, this book? What's it to you? Because it contains a treasure map. Uh, look, I think you're confused. It's called Treasure Island, and it may show a picture of a treasure map, but it's not real. That's not what we hear. Now hand it over. It's not gonna happen. Then we'll take it from you. We're good at that. <laughs> Plunder them, boys. How you like for now, jackass? Treasure in Treasure Island. <laughs> Idiots. Wait, what's this? Looks like a um, safe combination.
I'll be damned. Where's the treasure map? Well, of sorts. Luckily, the book is the only treasure Albert's looking for. Christmas every time you return. Almost everything you think you know about pirates comes from Robert Louis Stevenson's book, Treasure Island. But did you know it was originally meant as a coming of age story? Indeed. And even though it was for children, many pirate movies, when there were movies, were rated R. Duh, you, sir, are a tough audience. Darwin's origin of the species is the foundation of evolutionary biology. It's ironic, really. Is what's happening around us somehow an expression of Darwin's natural selection? Unnatural selection, if you ask me. You did it, Aiden. Our work here is done for now. I am humbled. Truly, I am. Humanity has a chance to survive, not just in body, but in spirit. Because of you. Take this. It is but a pittance for all your great works. But it may serve you in your daily adventures. Thank you, Albert. But I'm curious. What will you do now that your collection's complete? Hmm. With our literary past safeguarded, there is only one thing to do, my boy. What's that? Secure the future, of course. Ensure the human spirit continues to be distilled for ages to come. So, write more books? Precisely. Starting with a record of your heroic deeds that brought us to this moment. <laughs> Who want to read about me? After I've told your tale, my boy, everyone. Oh, and it will be epic. And I already have a title. Libros Libertad. <laughs> nice. Now leave me, for I must begin. Thank you again, Aiden. We are all in your debt. Oh, and check up on Thalia. She wanted to talk to you. Keep well, Albert. Of the books you brought, on the origin of species and Treasure Island caught my eye. And probably inspired a question. Indeed. So, how do you view yourself? Are you a pioneer like Darwin? Or a pirate like those found in Treasure Island? I don't know. Don't know enough about either to choose. Fair enough. I'm glad to hear you're not so self-absorbed. But... There's nothing wrong with a little role-play that leads to a bit of self-examination. I wonder if you're capable of that. On that note, it looks like I've finished my work with Albert. Oh. 
So it means you won't be coming back? Yeah, I mean... As hard as it is to admit it, at least a part of me is really sad to hear it. The feelings I've read about, that's nothing compared to what I feel. I'll miss our conversations. Yeah, me too, Thalia. Do you think it's possible that I could see you again? Very possible. You can visit me at home, if you want. I've marked my flat on your map. I'll be there after the sunset. Okay. See you there. Till then, Aiden. for a favor. The Butch is our greatest enemy. He's responsible for the Black Monday bombings and the death of two million people. Yeah. <laughs> 
It's Aiden. Come in. We well, have a nice place. Thanks. At least here you can pretend that this whole nightmare isn't happening outside. You know, I had a dream. What dream? That one morning, I, I went outside. There were people on the streets, kids playing, people in the cafes, like in the books I read. <sighs> Crazy, right? I think we all share that dream. Do you think if this world were different, would you get married? Build a house? That seems unlikely. It's so detached from what my life is. My everyday life is in my imagination. In literature. I'm probably just a weak little girl to you. No. You're sensitive, but that doesn't mean you're weak. Those who are weak just give up. They stop caring about anything. Give up on life, but you... You still care. It means you still fight. Someone told me once that only the gentle are ever really strong. Will you hold me, Aiden? Can we pretend that what's outside isn't happening just this one time? All right, Thalia. Just this one time. Were you just gonna slip out? Well, no, I... It's just that... You know. Monsters to fight, people to save. I've read those books. I'll, um... I'll see you later. Maybe you will. Maybe you won't. We both know the world we live in, after all. Didn't you say yours was the world of imagination? But not delusions. I'm glad this dream has come true. Likewise. I know. Goodbye, Aiden. <laughs>